Cloud storage solutions are available by popular brands and companies like Google, Apple, and Dropbox, but these are actually not the best solutions when it comes to privacy, price, unlimited storage, if that's what you want. So today, after some research, I'm making a recommendation on the best affordable cloud storage solution. Spoiler, it's called sync.com. And in this video, I will show you why it's my recommended tool. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I promise practical advice to build your brand. Today we're talking all about cloud storage, which has become the standard way of working, backing up your work securely, accessing your files from anywhere, and even collaborating securely with anyone. Popular brands might come to mind. I named a few at the top of this video, but they're honestly not the best option when it comes to this. Sync.com is sponsoring this video, yes, but I'm actually a user of this platform for a few reasons, including price. So I will hop over to my computer now. We'll take a closer look at why Sync.com should be on your radar as well. Let's do that right now. The first thing I want to point out, Sync.com, the company, is actually based in Canada. Canada has some of the strictest privacy laws, which obviously Sync.com complies with, in addition to privacy laws around the world. You, as a Sync.com user, benefit from this, regardless of where you are in the world, could be in the US, could be somewhere else, because your privacy is prioritized. Why should you be concerned with this? Well, I shouldn't really have to even explain that when you watch what happens in the news continually, but I wanna show you something specific. If we zoom in here on Dropbox's terms of conditions, I have barely scrolled, barely scrolled, and I wanna draw your attention here, your stuff and your permission. They call your stuff being any of your files. You actually, when you sign up for a service like Dropbox, you are giving permission for them to scan, read this, Dropbox accesses, stores, and scans your stuff. Not only is it Dropbox scanning your stuff, they also give permission to trusted affiliates and third parties. You have no idea who those companies are, and it's Dropbox's discretion, not yours. Is that kind of frightening? Yes. When we switch over to sync.com, and today I'm going to be focused on explaining the Pro Teams Unlimited as a business owner, as a content creator, specifically I own a branding agency. Um, the Teams Unlimited plan is absolutely awesome. And for $15 per user per month billed annually, 18 if you do it uh, monthly billing, at least at the time of recording this, for unlimited storage, which is nearly impossible to find online, especially at an affordable price. That's what I'm gonna be focusing on today because I think for the majority of my audience and people looking for a solution, this option is gonna be hugely beneficial for you. I'm gonna hop over and demo the product and we'll look more specifically at some of the features in a second. Sync is accessible in the browser and I'll show you that in a moment. What I really love is that they also have a desktop app. So as you can see, I'm using a Mac. I've downloaded very easily the desktop app, which allows me to sync my files locally. This is so awesome because then I can quickly access what I need. You know what, I'll be honest, prior to thinking about you know, the different options and my own privacy. I never really thought much about having my tax documents or personal documents, passport photos, like things like that on the cloud. And now, you know, after reading, you know, the terms and conditions on what we see with Dropbox, it makes me a little bit nervous and it makes me really confident in my move over to sync. So here in admin, I've got a number of uh, folders and, and files that I can access quickly and encrypt. This is super important. Sync encrypts your data at source. Only you or whoever you give permission to has the encryption key. So, so if, for example, someone was to access that data somehow, some way, it's not gonna make sense. It's encrypted, so it's not gonna be of any value. And that's really powerful and I think really, really important. So in terms of me making the switch over, I've got my admin files, so everything from like tax documents, all my you know sensitive stuff that honestly shouldn't be on a popular cloud storage solution, especially if it could be shared with other people, other third-party solutions. I've got my client folders, so there's actually a lot of sensitive stuff in here. I've got all the active clients I'm working with here, as well as the inactive clients once I finish a project. And then of course, videos that I'm working on. So all my published videos go in here. I'm currently focused on video 224 about Instagram caption ideas. I have found that the download and the upload 
upload speed is really quick and it's just convenient and seamless. So I particularly love the desktop integration. It makes it super easy for me to find what I need and to get, but I also love that I can access and share in the browser, I'll show you. Hopping over to the browser, you can see my three folders here that I just showed you synced uh, in the desktop version. Now I'll go in here and just click on that video that I had mentioned. Before I show you how I can share this with my team, very important within my business, I've got team members that need to also access these files like video editors, graphic designers, you name it. I wanna show you the difference. Okay, I, I know I already complained about Dropbox, now we're gonna... <laughs> Now we're gonna show you Google Drive. Um, I'm gonna show you the difference. So if I wanted to share this with someone on my team, I could do so by adding their email here. I only have three options for access, or I should say general access. Restricted, which means it can't be seen unless you're on my team and you've been added here by permission. Uh, people within my organization or anyone with the link. You have three options. The options are not that extensive. They're all pretty extreme, right? There's nothing in between. Now I'll hop over to sync.com and show you the comparison in terms of options. We can invite users to collaborate. We can also share it as a link. Have a look. That link is being encrypted. The second that I click that, and that gives me confidence. Once it's encrypted, keeping my data safe, it gives me the option here to open or copy the link. But get this, you click into link settings. I absolutely love this. You can set a password for someone to access this file. You can set a label. You can even set an expiration date, an expiry date for when that link is no longer valid. So upload permissions, email notifications, the ability to comment and get comment notifications and even enhanced privacy. You never see anything like this on Dropbox or Google Drive, and this is why I get excited. Also, the ability to delete that link instead of just changing the permissions. The settings are incredible here, and I'm really, really impressed. Moving right along, and a few more things to point out. I do not use the vault because I sync all of the files. If there, for example, uh, were files that you didn't want to sync if you were trying to save space or free up space, I'm on the unlimited plan, so not something I need to worry about, but it's nice to know that you could use the vault here if you needed it. And this is a feature I've started using sharing. This is really good for teams. So pro unlimited plan is ideal for anyone that is two or more. In my case, that applies to me. I've got a team uh, more than just me and having this shared file allows me to easily and at a more granular level share files um, based on who needs to get them and then also be able to take permissions off easily if for example, a project is finished. I love events. I love this tab because I can see what's happening, right? It's a little, uh, think of this as like a, an events log of what's happening in terms of files being moved, added, deleted, shared. Best of all, I think probably the most amazing thing uh, about sync.com that has honestly created panic for me previously using other platforms is what happens when something gets deleted file history and recovery for their basic plans. It's 180 day history for the teams unlimited. This pro plan I'm talking about 365 day history. That is so awesome. Have you ever panicked when you accidentally deleted something that was on cloud sharing and then right? There's no way to get it back easily. Uh, this is just so super awesome. I'm going to link to this page in the description of this video. I'm gonna to link to this page in the description of this video so you can take a closer look and compare the plans. But if you are a business owner, a manager, a team leader, or even team members in my case, right? I'm working with a team to complete branding projects as well as an IT manager, right? Privacy is one of your responsibilities. I just feel like sync.com is the platform that you can rely on to keep yourself protected, to consider your privacy, to have unlimited storage. There's just so many awesome things about this and definitely the reason you should consider it for your business, your brand, and your team. So there you go. My recommendation for the best affordable cloud storage solution this year, that is sync.com linked in the description below. Sync.com slash fill is where you wanna go. You can sign up for free and give it a try for yourself. You can also get a discount on the Pro Teams Unlimited plan 
for my viewers and subscribers. Unique to you, you're welcome. I love that. Thank you so much for offering natsync.com. If you've got any lingering questions, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I respond to those personally. And if you enjoy this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which I work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Thank you, sync.com, for partnering with me to create this video. Next, I'm sharing a few videos I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching, and those are coming up next.